What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about the Walking Dead Season 8 trailer, discussion, review. Hurry up October, right? So we'll just cover some things about Comic-Con, San Diego Comic-Con weekend. Spoiler warning if you don't want to know some of the things potentially will happen for Season 8 of The Walking Dead. But if you've seen the other videos, we'll just recap a lot of things. We have a couple new things as well to discuss about The weekend, Fear the Walking Dead, and The Walking Dead. So here we go, guys. So overall, I'm sure you've seen a lot of different Walking Dead channels, and we all have a little different take, but there's only so much material to cover in a trailer, and I'm sure some material is overlapped in various channels. But for Comic-Con, here was the panel, minus Andrew Lincoln. Is he taking the picture? He was in the panel, of course, and he's not in the picture or either picture. But I thought the panel was pretty good. From what I've seen online, it was pretty short. I mean, they showed the trailer, then they opened it up to questions. They didn't really say much about it. Here's the producers in there too. Again, Andrew Lincoln taking this picture. He was there, he's just not in the picture. But overall, the panel was pretty cool. I recommend checking it out on AMC's YouTube channel or a couple different channels have the panel. Did you see the Fear the Walking Dead panel? Or the trailer, I thought the trailer was very good. They're stepping it up for the second half of season three. They're continuing the story with Walker and Madison and the ranch. I can't wait for it actually. It comes back September 10th. But the big thing is old man Rick. What's up with that? Some people are still confused about it. We talked about it in a variety of other videos, but basically Rick, this is the new beginning Rick. So we're gonna get all at war for part of the season and then the new beginning at some point of season eight. So it'll be the latter half of season eight, I'm guessing, unless All Out War is rushed and it's only half a season, but only time will tell to see what they do. But again, All Out War is not gonna be the whole season. We will have the new beginning storyline, if you know the comics, we talked about that a lot. So Rick is gonna be beat up from the war. He's a gray beard, older man, worn down a little bit and gonna need the cane to get around. And it's gonna be a different Rick Grimes, that's for sure. And did you also note the non-decaying Walking Dead logo? They did that for a reason because it's a new beginning, a fresh start for the world, for Rick, for everything after the war, for at least some point, right? So I would assume the logo will change at some point of season eight. Then we have this guy. Who is this? Is it Aaron? Is it Rick? Is it Daryl? Is it Jesus? Is it Negan? Is it somebody? But a lot of people are saying a lot of things. Now to me, I think it's Rick Grimes and the zoom in photo that we're gonna show right here has to be Rick, right? I don't know who else that looks like. He's just, to me it jumps out as Rick Grimes. It makes sense that he is captured by Jadis for some reason and they better explain it, it better make sense, it better not be stupid. They're giving Jadis and the scavengers too much power. And if you look closely in a lot of the trailer details, they highlight a lot of things that could show who may die. Like, I think Eric dies, Aaron's boyfriend, because of the blood on the hands, Aaron's facial expression, and just how upset he is a lot in the trailer. Look at the flowers. Did you see the flower on the, the wall or median next to Carol? Is that a foreshadowing that she's going to die? She's looking at the flowers or that she has to kill again or reminds her of Lizzie and Minka? Not sure, but a little subtle hint there of a flower. Look at the walkers. Obviously, they're setting up a bunch of walkers to go towards the sanctuary, like the comic. I'm excited for that. Episode 801, episode 100 of the series should be amazing. I've been hearing nothing but great things about it. A lot of callbacks. When Carl looks into the car here, it's the same as Rick back in season one, looking in the car with the hat on. There's going to be a lot of callbacks from season one, early seasons of The Walking Dead, to season eight, we saw that in the trailer. Love the scene here, just Rick Grimes walking somewhere. Is it a school? Is it somewhere? Not sure exactly what's going on here. Just love how they shot a lot of the trailer. I love the music, I love how they did it. The overall, I thought the trailer was great. Not the best trailer ever of The Walking Dead, but it was pretty cool for sure. Michonne and Rosita are obviously gonna work together because the group would be out doing a mission and they are wounded, healing up. They go out, they're not gonna sit by. You know, they're gonna go out, especially Rosita. That's for sure. So it's interesting to see how they're gonna work together. And this quick part with Steven Ogg, Simon, Gavin behind them, a rat. You know, it's interesting to see the group all together of the saviors. What's going on here? And who is Simon talking to? I will talk about that in an upcoming video, but it possibly could be Eugene. And this by far was the saddest part of the trailer, just knowing that Shiva is going to die. She's surrounded by walkers. It's just, if you know the comics, it's gonna happen. They can't keep making her. The CGI budget is probably ridiculous for Shiva, but it's a shame, and you know she's getting her comic book death. And we finally got a battle axe to the head kill. I wanna see more of that from Jerry. I wanna see more of Jerry overall. 
it looks like the kingdom is going to be filmed a lot in the first several episodes i think the first four episodes is what the spoilers are saying so we'll see a lot of jerry and the kingdom the walker head here as it's moving good animatronics just awesome sure that is at the sanctuary walking towards the sanctuary the fence is broken down and there's a gap in the sanctuary defense and the walkers are coming in and who is this some people are saying negan i think it's eugene or negan i think it's that side i think it's the savior's going to talk to jadis to set up the deal that you know the 10 versus 12 i'm guessing people or what but i'm not sure exactly 100 percent it could be where Rick gets captured or put in the shipping container, and I'm just not sure exactly what it is, but the story better make sense with these scavengers. All I know is that I don't want to see them anymore. Hopefully this is the last season. They only last half a season, if that, but they need to go. Scavengers, saviors, working together possibly, but the saviors here get blown up by Daryl, Carol, Morgan, and Tara. Can't wait to see the battles ensue. People are going to die. We're going to have some casualties like the kingdom people think we're going to lose a couple kingdom people maybe of significance maybe not but i would assume that we're going to get some comic deaths it's war people are going to die saviors alexandrians hilltop kingdom people just aren't going to make it what's up with the fighting here guys i want to know are you sparring are you fighting are you training is morgan pissed is jesus trying to calm morgan down is morgan trying to clear something made morgan go crazy again and jesus is trying to calm him down and who you got morgan versus jesus i think jesus all day so there you go guys october 22nd hurry up already i can't wait we are less than three months away i know it's a long time but it'll be here before you know it hopefully they give us another trailer or something in a couple months another thing to spike our interest because three months down the road is a long time, but it should be here before you know it. There you go, guys. Let me know what you think about the trailer, season eight, what we said, what we missed, all the good stuff. Check out my books on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com. Fight for us, books one and two, the beginning, and reunited. Instagram, Twitter, at the PT channel. We post stuff all the time. Pretty much every day we have a couple posts on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, guys, check out the Walking Dead community page on Facebook. We got a page and a group. All are welcome. And again, we're a community, guys. All the YouTube channels, all the Walking Dead content. We are a community together. We are a Walking Dead family. If you like this channel, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. You guys are awesome. And thank you for watching.